So you can do it wrong. I mean, there's, that's the main thing. So what happens over time and with trial and error, you get to a point where you're not doing it wrong anymore. And so almost it becomes, and he's lucky because he got to, you know, advance ahead and, and learn this process before he learned any other simpler process. So he didn't get spoiled. So what it comes down to is that uh, it's inexpensive. It's, uh, a, it's, it's a creative expression. It's like cooking, if anything. It's very close to cooking. We do recipe formulation and uh, try to bring you know all types of different flavors forward. So the, if anybody just wants to, like, I can do this, and, and just strikes out trying to do it without any you know preparation or knowledge of the process, you're gonna you're gonna miss it. So so this here, um, this is Robert. I'm Travis. This right. here is a three tier gravity fed system. Up here, you will keep your hot liquor tank, which is what he's got here, filled with water. This will be your mash tun where all your grains go. This will be what ends up being your wort or your boil kettle. Or your boil kettle. <laughs> so yeah, basically water mixed with grains makes a tea. The tea is run off to the bowl kettle, boiled with hops, and then chilled, and then fermented. It would be the, the easiest way to look at it. This would be basically a miniature version of what they do in a brewery. Half ounce? Half ounce. Fresh ingredients is, is you know, an absolute Even priority. The husk to provide a filter. We got about half ounce. Uh, proper water, you know, filtered water. Water that's had the, the chlorine and the chloramines removed from it. Ready? Uh, we shut it down. We'll shut it down. We're probably good. So, probably there good. we go. Good. Cool. There she went. There she is. So that's going to say 212 degrees for a minute here because that's how hot it is. But once we start flowing the water through the coil, it's like a radiator, and it's going to suck all the heat out. And then Are we get to turn it on. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. And that's going to tell us our what we call it, OG, yeah. original gravity. Just above 21. Now we gotta get real low. Yeah. All we do is provide the yeast dinner and then the, the yeast make the beer. So, you know, it's really up to the yeast at this point. Sorry. So right now we're adding oxygen because the yeast need oxygen initially. A lot of people splash between bucket to bucket or carboy to carboy, try to splash it. But it's just a, a imitation to uh, Contamination. Contamin yeah. So that's homebrew. That's that's made here about a year ago. It's a year aged in. So the mint's kind of falling away. Mint's definitely falling off. Chocolate's still there. Chocolate's still roasty. There. Definitely. Definitely roasty. Softened. Yeah. Which it's want to do. I was born with a bottle in my mouth. Now I got six on level Okay. This is something we call neighbor beer, which is the the homebrew that you make that doesn't turn out so great. And it compared to the beers that did turn out great, when the neighbor comes over, you give him the swill. All right, so it's called neighbor beer. Hey, 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 keep that down. I have, I have oh. neighbors. Okay, I don't want them hearing it.